right now let's come back and see the next uh, trend that is electronegativity in the periodic table so what actually is electronegativity let us see so if i have to define the electronegativity right it's simple basically nothing and the amount or it is you know the ability rather not the amount it is the ability to attract the shared pair of electrons right suppose if i have two like let us take a chemical compound now when i compare to these two chlorine is more electronegative than hydrogen now what does chlorine do this tra starts dragging the electrons from hydrogen okay here if i take hf fluorine is more electronegative than hydrogen it starts dragging electrons now the ability to drag the shared pair of electron there is one electron here here also one isn't it like this so the ability to drag this shared pair of electron is called electronegativity so that tendency to drag that particular shared pair that now suppose if i have to start justifying the second z effective electronegativity now z effective is directly related to electronegativity what does it mean if the nuclear attraction or the force of attraction is very very strong it's trying to drag the electron towards it means the pull of that electron by the proton obviously the dragging capacity is nothing but electron negativity only you know that is what i said once again if the z effective or this is the nucleus this is the thing now if the z effective is long stronger it will try to pull whatever electron is there towards it this is called the z effective then now when this is higher that means the property that is the electronegativity property of dragging also will be higher yes so negativity also will be higher that's what i've written now if i speak about size electronegativity and size now when i take the second concept now this is a nucleus this is one atom which has k shell n shell one more which has k l m n n right this is k l m n n now when i compare both the sizes when i said size and electronegativity inverse related simple as the size is increasing in this case size is increasing what will happen to the electronegativity the dragging capacity suppose this is one uh, element this one let us take okay this is one uh, chlorine there is one more hydrogen let us take kcl nature now hydrogen is 1s2 1s1 minus that half filled done suppose if the size is larger the ability to drag this electron will be less isn't it yes so that is what we have written as the size is larger the electronegativity or the ability to drag the distance between the electron increases means the length increases when the length increases what will happen automatically the electronegativity value also decreases more far is an electron of high more is the size of an atom this particular ability to drag also decreases more is the size less is the ability to drag the electron done suppose if i have to speak the third one electron negativity and ionization enthalpy same story again if this particular element that particular electronegativity if the uh, uh, this is a difference electronegativity difference between this one suppose if i take h and f okay h and f suppose if i take the electronegativity difference this electronegativity difference is very very less it's trying to drag the electron very very close when the element is very close should i use more energy or less energy i should use if the electronegativity is uh, small very less means i have to use uh, uh, ionization enthalpy if the electronegativity value difference is more then ionization enthalpy values also change accordingly that is what we have learned if i have to speak about electronegativity and electron affinity so electron affinity what did i say it's nothing but the energy nothing but the electron gain enthalpy isn't it so the energy released you know, means when you are adding uh, a particular electron to neutral gaseous atom so this electron affinity what will happen this is both are directly related simple isn't it when the electronegativity difference or the electronegativity dragging capacity between them is very strong in case of hf right so if the electronegativity difference is small means the value i'm talking about values then so if this is small the amount of energy released also will be small isn't it right so please understand in this way if the dragging capacity is more the energy released also will be more because it's trying to hold the electron if the dragging capacity is less the the energy really, uh, released also will be less it's easy it's loose it's simply i can add and the energy release can be calculated so that's why they are directly related let's come back and see electronegativity in s percentage so when i have to speak about s percentage s character s is very s is particular s electrons are very close to the nucleus isn't it in that how should you remember just see s percentage i wrote 
good so what do we have we have sp character we have let me write this here okay i'll write this here i'll erase this and i'm going to write which point is that it's a fifth point so we said en is directly related to s percentage that s what do we have we have sp we have sp2 we have sp3 isn't it sp means which bond c triple bond c what is sp2 c double bond c what is sp3 ah, sorry c single bond c now among all these which are stronger s character this is this. among this strong so this one strong this one stronger Right. So, which is more electronegative compared to this? Yes, S character. Here it is 50, 50. Here is a difference 33 and okay, if I have to take 30, 70. <coughs> Sorry, 75, 25. This is 30, uh, 30 and 70. Well, now what happens here? Here this is more electronegative. This is also more electronegative. So, what did I say? Here S character is 50%. Here P character is 50%. More is the S character, more is the electronegativity. More is the S character, more is the electronegativity. That is the ability to drag the shade electron pair. That. So, next, last one. Electronegativity is directly proportional to charge, I said. What does that mean? Suppose if I have to speak about charge, let me take an example. I am going to take Fe plus 2. I am going to take Fe plus 3. Now, the charge is higher in which one? This one. So, now I am going to say for this particular one, electronegativity is higher why am i saying that suppose if the cation is larger suppose i have right fe cl3 this is the thing if this breaks up it breaks up into fe plus 3 plus 3 cl minus now what happens compared to this anion a cation is larger in size when the cation is larger what will happen the ability to drag the electron will be stronger compared to this i'm repeating again if the cation, now if I take Fe plus 3 and plus 2, this is larger cation. Done. Now I said the charge is higher as well as the cation also is larger. When the cation is larger, what will happen to the tendency to drag the electron? The ability to drag the electron also will be more. It will try to drag because this is the cation is larger than this. So the dragging capacity will make or increase the electronegativity. So, electronegativity is directly proportional to the charge of that particular cation or the charge of the positive ion in that particular molecule. Right. So, this is the electronegativity students. I have discussed all the points, all the definitions. So, note this as an important trend, as important trick for your electronegativity in your book. So, we have learned ionization enthalpy trend. We have learned electro uh, affinity trend. We have seen what is size, or what are the variations in size. I have also taught you electronegativity. Let me come back and meet you with the next trend in periodic properties. Very important, which will be useful for your competitive exams as well as CBS exam. Right. Now, let's come back and see the next trend in your inorganic chemistry. What did we learn earlier? We have learned the tricks for size. What should we answer? Then we have, we have also learned the tricks when electron affinity question is given to you. We have also learned um, what should you remember when electron activity is given to you. Ionization enthalpy is given to you. Electron gain enthalpy or electron affinity also. Now, let me uh, finish up with this. Then I will start with the different type of reasoning questions. Done. So, here hydration enthalpy or ion and ionic mobility let's see what is hydration enthalpy suppose if i have an uh, what is this this is an ion cat cation done now here i am going to add or this is an aqueous medium when uh, this two combine together so this is a, a gaseous ion so when they combine what will happen this calcium plus two aqueous there is certain amount of delta H value, okay. That delta H value for when I add this, this is minus 1650 kilojoules per mole. Now, I am defining hydration enthalpy. The hydration enthalpy is the energy released when, why did I say released? Because it is minus. Released when a bond is formed between an ion and or new bonds are formed between an ion and water molecule. Once again, the amount of energy released when bonds are formed or new bonds are formed between an ion 
as well as an aqueous medium means between water bond between an ion and water is called hydration enthalpy done so now what did it, what we give here here we have given hydration enthalpy or u which can write it as u also is directly related to charge of the ion done so and inversely related to size of the ion done. so if i have to speak about charge of the ion let us take an example and see suppose if i take uh, like a uh, uh, this along the period and group also we will take now i said in the period and decreases in the group let's see in a period suppose if i take lithium beryllium boron i'm going like this lithium is plus one this is plus two and this is three isn't it yes so lithium is lesser beryllium lesser done when i go in the group i'm coming down lithium sodium potassium lithium will be more lithium uh, sodium will be more that is what we have written that means when i am say this is how much this is plus one this is plus two this is three is it it boron is three now what am i saying as a charge is increasing the hydration enthalpy also increases that is what is the concept isn't it that and one more thing is in a period from left to right in a period it increases from top to bottom this is lithium sodium potassium rubidium cesium this is your group and this is your period so what am i trying to say in a period the hydration enthalpy when the bond is forming so in a period it what will happen this is smaller smaller it's increasing see here it is increasing now i said in a group this is decreasing because all these are greater this is decreasing that is what we have written so as a charge increases the hydration enthalpy also increases means the ability that energy form released this particular thing when you are adding or forming a bond also depends so they are directly related now the same thing here inversely related size we said okay size of the ion the same concept you can apply it here also both are similar concepts so i have taken that in one column now let's see ionic mobility so ionic mobility when i have to speak about this now see here ionic mobility is inversely related to the charge of the ion we said and directly related to size let us take an example and see how can i justify this right let's come back and see the next one ionic mobility i said let us even is an example so let's see here what is ionic mobility the movement of that particular ion okay cation now so i said the charge of the ion is inversely related to ionic mobility that means if the charge is higher the mobility of the ion will become lesser that is what is the concept isn't it if the charge is very small lesser small means smaller cation it can easily or the mobility or the movement will be very fast once again if the charge is higher this is in your period this is in the group let us write that so this is in your period and this is in your group done now i said as the charge is increasing the mobility will decrease other way around if the charge is smaller mobility will be faster that so here see here in a period when i say it is decreasing in a period from left to right isn't it yeah so because the charge is higher suppose if i take a group i said in a group it is increasing see here that's why it is lesser isn't it so here the ionic mobility factor increasing in a group as according to this decreasing in a period according to this so these are the different trends students ionic mobility and hydration enthalpy hope the concept is clear now i'll be starting with the different reasoning questions of your uh, jd lee book very important book very important concepts i'll be dealing one after the other so keep noting right so thank you for watching all the tricks students